How's it going, lads? Marshall here, and welcome, welcome to another review on the channel. As you can see today, this is our first foot birthday card review, and we're starting with the highest rated one in 90 rated, yes, 90 rated, Samuel Esu. I couldn't wait to get my hands on this card. Did he disappoint? Did he impress me? You're going to find out today, lads. If you do enjoy, smash a like on the video. Let's aim for over 1,000 likes yet again. And if you do want any cheap MSP, PSN, or even game codes, head on over to g2a.com. Use that code M89. Every single link that you will need is right there in the description below. As you know with these foot birthday cards, yeah, they kind of turn back the hands of times to previous generations of FIFA where you had these overpowered beasts like your Etnos, like your Emaniques, like your bloody El Shraoui's, David Luiz's, Emaniques, I've said Emanike already, Ibabo, Dumbia, Sturridge, Blasichowski, David Villa, etc, etc. If you want to see a review on any of those players, simply let me know in the comment section below. And the team we had around him is quite an overpowered one because I was still in the weekend league at this point, so I needed a good competent team. We have Van der Sar, Walker, Cahill, who got subbed off every now and then for Sergio Ramos. As Pilaqueta, we have Alba, Patrick Vieira, David Luiz. He's going to be in most of my teams because I just love the card. At CDM, my good God, he intercepts everything like I did. I called him a squid. He's basically an octopus mark two. That is exactly what I'm going to call this guy. We have Wesley Schneider, who is on week cam at like eight. But honestly, I didn't feel a difference whatsoever. Hero Podolski, who I said would be the perfect cam. He is a great cam, and he's better at cam than he is a striker. Let's just put it that way. Emanike, alongside Samuel Eto'o. Lads, let's get into this foot birthday review. So here we go then, lads. Like you can see on the left-hand side of your screen, this card looks ridiculously OP. And it does take it back to the time series at Inter Milan, Chelsea, even Anshi Makalaka, if you can remember that, you're an OG. But it does take it back to when he was very overpowered, 93 pace, 89 dribbling, 89 shooting, that doesn't change from his SPC, and 80 physical as well. He's got 4 star skills, 3 star weak foot, medium to low work rates, not the tallest in the world at 5'10", but he jumps like a salmon, he's got very good jumping, he's got 10 in 12 with 2 assists, 320 is what I did pay, sold him for 340, and on the PlayStation, he sells for around 380k. In terms of in-game stats, mental and physical attributes, of course you're going to look at the positioning, the acceleration, the sprint speed of 94, that's unbelievable, the aggression is 84, and the strength is 78. Now, if I was reviewing his stats, I'd say this is the most complete striker on this game, but I'm not reviewing his stats, I'm reviewing how he feels in game, and he feels quite weak, I'm not gonna lie, even with a chem style that boosts his physical, so his strength is even higher and his aggression is even higher, he, he doesn't feel strong, and he, he goes to the ground so many times in the game, it takes the pace, and when he does go to the ground, he holds his ankle, I know he's 36, but come on mate, get on with the game, just play the game, because when he does get on with the game, he's very, very overpowered, his acceleration, unbelievable, he's so damn fast, it is ridiculous, Our acceleration gives him that instant burst of pace, to take him past many centre backs on this game, when he gets in full flow, his sprint speed is a joke, 94 sprint speed, he's not like an Aubameyang, like an informal Aubameyang, or like 99 pace, but he is very, very fast, once he does get going, that's a cracking back heel, from Patrick Vieira to Eto'o, and Eto'o finishes with a plum, right in the top corner, and that's what he gives you as well this great finishing technique on both the left and the right i know he's got a free star weak foot but it didn't seem to matter in game what mattered was how good he was in front of goal i know he scored 10 and 12 as well but i was in very high pressure kind of situations in matches in the foot champions in division one and he was kind of feeding off scraps every now and then off emanike and his movement it's just not good. I know his positioning was very, very high, but in game, it's like his work rates kind of take over that start. Medium, low, he's, he's just lazy. In game, he just seems lazy, and you've got to find it though, every single time you want to give him the ball. He doesn't kind of manually make a run. You've got to press LB to get him going. I know he's 36, and I know he's going to be lazy, and I know I keep going back to his age, but again, in game, he should be doing so much more when it comes to movement and his stamina isn't great after like 70 minutes his stamina starts getting depleted and he just he can't do what he kind of did at the start of the game so that is the downside as well as he does score a header 
from uh, a flick on by Sergio Ramos. And we'll get on with said now as well. He is very good in the air. His jumping is very good. I know he's five foot ten, but his jumping is very good. And his heading accuracy is something like 91. So if you do it with some crosses in, Eto will win them. As you see there, Eto injured and someone goes through the back of him. Emenike holds the ball up well, and that's what Emenike does. He's more of an assistant than a goal scorer. And Eto does score the goal. Four star skills and dribble. And the four star skills, I keep mentioning it with strikers. So damn important to do the Berber spins, to do random pieces of skills in the area for defenders off. Eto has four star skills. So this comes in clutch so many times. And you'll notice it from the clips as well. I'm doing skills where sometimes I don't need to do skills. I'm doing skills where sometimes it's important, it's imperative, and it will kind of work to take it past the center back or the goalkeeper in some cases. I mean, I could do like a better turn on a keeper and just send them miles. That is how important four star skills are for strikers on this game. Finger strikers that don't have four star skills. Lewandowski, Higuain, even uh, Fernando Torres, if all of them had four star skills, they would be up there with the best of the best of the best. Like it's Team the Year Suarez. I honestly believe with Fernando Torres, if Torres had the four star skills, he'd be on par with Team the Year Suarez. That's how highly I rate him as Eto, but he's yet another there in the background. His dribble is very close to the body, it doesn't get away from him. His ball control is second to none. It's just great. This card is very overpowered. Like I said, with the key stat, 94 sprint speed, the work rates do go against him. Even if I set instructions on him to get in behind, press the back line, he would rarely do that. So I do kind of believe the work rates do take over from time to time. And three star week for that just didn't seem to matter with the card. With some cards on this game, it does matter with Samuel Eto'o. It's like his finishing did override that and he could score goals from anywhere on the field. As he scores the uh, final goal, he runs in behind in this shadowy pitch. I don't know why people use this pitch, but this was clutch in the 90th minute to draw things up. And again, it's from another header. So, heading OP with uh, Eto'o, finishing OP with Eto'o, sprint speed OP with Eto'o, very OP, Eto'o, Eto'o, Eto'o. So all in all, that's he's gonna get a rate of a 9.0. He does have quite a few cons that go against him. And he's gonna get a value for coins of a 7.0. At this moment in time, he's going for like 340, 380. Ah, I'd pay something like 250 for the card. I know his SPC cost um, roughly 90k. So with that in mind, this card makes that SPC completely irrelevant. And I'd definitely go for this card if you can't afford it. So, with that in mind, lads, I'm going to end the review there. I hope you have enjoyed. If you have, once again, smash the hell out of that thumbs up button in the comment section below. Let me know any other player that you want me to review in the near future. And yeah, lads, smash a like, subscribe if you're new, and I will catch you all next time.